今回の聖杯戦争は通常のそれではない味方が7人敵が7人聖杯大戦我々イグドミレニアからの戦線布告 Fate Apocrypha is the latest entry in the Fate series, which are anime adaptations of video games of the same name. Just for some added background knowledge, Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works, and Fate Zero were the two previous entries that I have seen in the series. There's also a show just called Fate Stay Night, which is the original, but I skipped it because it's an alternate telling of the same story as Unlimited Blade Works, but with animation so bad it hurt my eyes. Sorry, Fate Stay Night fans. Fate Apocrypha is kind of a completely separate story set in the same world as Fate Stay Night and Fate Zero, but with no real connections for all intents and purposes to any of the previous characters. So, right off the bat, after watching Fate Apocrypha, I can say that the series has continued to live up to the expectations set by Unlimited Blade Works and Fate Zero in terms of superb animation quality. The animation quality was the thing that really first caught my eye with the Fate series. As I said, Unlimited Blade Works is probably the pinnacle of this and was also the first show in the series that I saw. Each episode seemed to be of movie quality and budget, at least for the fight scenes, and watching this show kind of made me completely aware of how important animation quality is for me and would be in future shows. Fate Apocrypha, while in my opinion not quite as good as Unlimited Blade Works animation wise, is still undoubtedly one of the most beautifully animated and smoothest shows out there. The intensity of battles can be felt with sparks flying from steel and bright vivid colors of magic flying across the screen. Even little details such as how character swings their weapon and how swords slice through the air make a huge difference in how fluid the fight scenes are. It seems like they don't skip a single frame and it's amazing. Another thing that adds to the intensity of the action is the excellent sound quality. Swords make loud clangs when they hit each other that makes you really feel the weight of the action. Now, onto the story. While the animation itself is amazing in this show, the story is a bit lacking in comparison with Unlimited Blade Works and Fate Zero. In a nutshell, the Fate shows are about a magical holy grail that bestows a wish upon the winner of a great battle royale tournament between mages representing class archetypes from a typical role-playing game. So you have combatants like an archer, a swordsman also known as saber, a mage also known as caster, so on and so forth. Due to the nature of having all these different characters, the Fate series has kind of always been about individual character motivations as opposed to a grand overarching plot. With that being said, both Fate Zero and Unlimited Blade Works do a much better job of having some type of overarching plot, especially since Fate Zero is a prequel that serves to flesh out details of Unlimited Blade Works. Fate Apocrypha, on the other hand, has probably the most generic battle royale premise ever. Combatants face off and the winner gets a wish and, well, that's about it. Sure there are two teams this time around so it's not a complete free for all, but none of the character motivations for why they want the Holy Grail are really all that interesting. This is kind of a mild spoiler, but also not really, but the main antagonist literally just wants to wish for, quote, the salvation of mankind. Really? That's the best bad guy you can give me? In comparison with the plot and twists of Unlimited Blade Works, which I won't spoil here because that show is a must watch, Fate Apocrypha's overall plot is just, well, bland. Overall, I say Fate Apocrypha is definitely a visual treat and anyone who enjoys amazing animation quality will definitely be satisfied with this. But where the show excels in, in the visual department, it more than leaves a void in my heart from a story perspective, especially in comparison with its predecessor.